prepping one Daniel Burnham unit 618 for sale was actually a lot more difficult as well as a lot easier um, than we originally anticipated. So we originally planned on a full unit remodel. We wanted to pull up all this carpet. We wanted to put down some really nice, nice looking engineered hardwood floors. We wanted to fully redo the kitchen. We wanted to demo all the cabinets, pull all the cabinetry out. We'd actually pre-purchased some really nice, good looking cabinets from Ikea of all places, as well as a really nice countertop. So the unit was going to look a whole lot different, but we just kept coming into, we just kept banging our heads against this wall, which was the HOA in this building being really difficult to coordinate with, to schedule any sort of work inside the unit. Now, we had our own contractors, we had our own subcontractors, we had everything we needed other than building approval to do the project. And ultimately the scope of work fell outside the HOA's comfortability in allowing a non-preferred vendor to do the job. And so when we contacted their preferred vendors, when we got all the quotes from their preferred vendors, um, ultimately it just came out to be too difficult to schedule in an efficient manner. So we couldn't, the project ultimately was going to cost about 35 grand and we couldn't get the preferred vendors to do the job until probably starting early September, which means finishing probably early November, which means coming on the market mid November, um, which is a really inopportune time to sell anything here in San Francisco, like right around the holiday season, it's just not ideal. So we. And the cost of remodel was about 35 grand, which made the ROI of the project not quite worth doing the job. So the we're, li we're gonna list at 729, we're coming on the market next week at 729,000. The building comps out to maybe 740, 750 for a unit just like this. But the ceiling um, is probably about 800,000 for a unit of this size in this location because if you're a one bedroom buyer you go to the rockwell you could go to um i'm on pine street now it's slipping my name new construction lost it but you can get one you can get a brand brand new one bedroom unit in that building for 800 to 850 which puts this sort of 1980s building ceiling at 800K, so it's coming on at 730, a $35,000 remodel puts us at 765, coming on the market in November, December, which is who knows what that'll do to the sales price. That went, that sort of margin just wasn't quite worth the remodel. So we opted to stage, we're selling exactly as is. Um, my job becomes more difficult because selling brand new is always easier in San Francisco where the, the buyer taste palette is brand new. People want modern. People see listings at eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars with brand new floors, brand new kitchens, brand new bathrooms, all that sort of stuff. So my job becomes a bit more difficult. We're going to have to make this place look as good as we can. So we're waiting for the perfect sunset to get sort of really picturesque skyline views from this unit for the first couple of photos of this listing. Um, and then we're going to really specifically target all the buildings, uh, sorry, all the businesses around this area, including. CPMC, the hospital right next door, um, and basically anyone in the Civic Center or the, this the Van Ness corridor, we're gonna have to work really hard to make sure that they see this unit, they see the first handful of photos and go, hmm, like that, that could be something that works for me, which also could be people that want an investment, the condo in the city when they wanna to come to shows, the theater district is really close to here, the opera, the galas, all that sort of stuff. So, Challenge ahead, listing at 729, coming on the market next week. Wish me luck.